Hello and welcome to Indies Education. This is the fourth tutorial in robotics series and welcome back. Okay, so today I'm basically as you can see from the visualization I'm going to discuss how you can measure distance with a single camera. This is really practical and you can use your robot for autonomous navigation. As you can see at the moment the camera is tracking part of my face and it is measuring distance though there is a problem with the consistency of the measurement um, but it is giving some sort of feedback now um, i will enhance it further well now as you can see it is uh, I'm, I'm just getting my tutorial back so uh, this is the robotic car i have discussed in previous three tutorials so uh, as you can see i just opened my website and for your understanding i got the visualization as you can see i overlay two picture uh, like the virtual robot and the physical robot where you can see that uh, the physical robot and virtual robot has got very much uh, resemblance to each other and uh, i will get a before and after picture uh, just just hold on a second well now as you can see this is the before picture this is the virtual robot where uh, the code will make a functional physical robot with raspberry pi 4 operated with uh, arduino buggy and uh, all the electronics uh, the power electronics now this is the web article i wrote for you there are a number of videos there demonstrating from the beginning where I built all the virtual parts as you can see then I imported them in VRAP robot software and now um, then uh, the last video I demonstrated this video I demonstrated how to connect with the camera now and now we will jump to some of the image processing algorithms now the first algorithm I will implement is that uh, measuring distance with single camera uh, this is really really uh, practical for your robots autonomous navigation i got this idea few, with a few of the few of the research paper i will uh, give the link provided so um, i'm showing you at the moment the my uh, whole robotic uh, you know the article now this uh, uh, green blob actually the blue blob this is this is the blob will be used used for the target because as you can see there are some inconsistency of the image it is showing the distance sometimes uh, it is it is uh, getting the wrong target but with this uh, functional code it will only track this um, blue blob and it will uh, get the ratio of the blob uh, then it will justify how far the blob is you get the detail code and i will get the code step by step uh, this is really handy uh, as you can see number of tutorial i already made uh, with the similar topics um, you are feel, if, feel free to explore them <coughs> so uh, the idea behind is that um, you can carry a backpack holding this blob and there will be a um, robotic car which uh, functionally will be following you um, but at the same time it will ma maintain certain distance from you so that it does not crash with you imagine uh, there are real implement implication of this in real life ro robotics for instance you can uh, make a wallpaper with uh, this blue blob and you put it on the warehouse wall so the robot functionally will be operating inside th this warehouse and it will be maintaining distance from the wall so um, I, I will get to it uh, very soon these are the code i used for this tracking project and uh, i mentioned this uh, in my website feel free to explore those code and i will go line by line with you now this is the idea behind using that uh, blue blob obviously here you can see i'm using the red color uh, that is something happened at the beginning i use the red blob but then i figure out that there is some inconsistency that it it work better with the blue blob then i use the blue blob but regarding that blue blob now let's discuss that how you can practically implement that uh, tracking algorithm tracking procedure for your uh, robot navigation for instance as you can see uh, this is uh, from a website and this is the screenshot of my virtual robot which you can find uh, the link provided and you can download it you can play with it you can modify it and let me know if you need any help now this is the virtual robot this robot can see this wall now it, it sees this blob and it measures the distance of itself from the robot to the blob then uh, with the code you can modify this robot uh, the way that it will be uh, going forward it will be tracking something but same times it will track the robot distance from the wall as well so as soon as it goes to a certain distance the robot the robot will navigate against the wall so before it will be going towards the wall then as soon as certain threshold reached it will navigate against the wall thus the robot will not be colliding with the wall this idea i got from a research paper uh, ieee research paper and i'll be providing this research paper now let's go back to the 
functional code itself. So this is the code. Uh, it begins with importing four of the Python library, then some function definition happen uh, with this two function definition code. As you can see, the three line. So first is uh, image is convert, and the frame is convert from RGB to grayscale, then from grayscale to Gaussian blur, hap blur happen. So the Gaussian, Gaussian blur make uh, like it is it is good for threshold applying. Then the canny edge detection applied with this 35 and 125 pixel. So after the canny edge detection, the contour, the uh, fine contour program um, determine the contour of the object. Then some object grab happen. And finally, this line conclude the contour procedure. Now the function distance, you know, the definition of the distance to camera. So these are the code applied uh, to get uh, the the ratio between the given image and the ratio with the image in front. So it sees some image, then you compare it with the image in its memory. And obviously, um, I'm going to show you that how how it get that memory image. Let me open my research paper. It is somewhere here. I mentioned it. I, you can you can go through the whole research paper. Uh, I, I I hope you will find it really descriptive. And it is it is really easy. Uh, it is really good for someone starting new in robotics. I see why it is. Yes. So these are just some image. I'm just showing you for for explanation. Um, so the at the beginning I took the image uh, from a known distance. So this is the blob uh, from the robot. It is approximately one feet away. Then I took another two image, which is uh, one feet away, two feet away, and three feet away. And this three image is is already on the working directory of the Python programming language. Let me open the working directory. Okay. So this is the spider spider ID. And if I open the working directory, as you can see, images. So, wow. Well, for some reason, it's not showing the images, but uh, I'll go through them again and you will get the functional code uh, with the whole library so you can download and play it yourself. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to the code. So we, we till here, we have described uh, this part, all the function, function definition part. Now the known distance is a 24 inch. This is with uh, this code code um, and I will discuss it later on. Uh, so the known white is 11 unit and the known distance is 24 unit then the actual image happened from the camera no this this line the actual image is uh, is been read then the marker applied and the focal length and and all the codes uh, and uh, in real time image acquire happen in yeah. now the real time image acquire happen here so uh, cap equals cv2 dot video capture 0 so you can use multiple camera in python so zero means the first camera and the second camera would be number one then the pixel ratio happen so my image will be 480 and 320 so let, let me open it so if i just run it yes so if i run this code Yeah, so if I run, run this code, as you can see, uh, these are the image, which is uh, 480 by 320 pixel. Yes. Then it has been applied in the while loop. In the while loop, uh, it just read the image. So this is a Boolean feedback. So it just get uh, if the image is, has been read or not. If, if it doesn't read, it produces zero. If it read, it produces one. And the same goes like here it applies the marker then the inches command can get, get the known distance then it feed it on that functional definition with this it draw a contour with the box so this is this is the contour as you can see has been drawn let me get my block so uh, so this part this is the contour contour as you can see so the contour is from this part so there are four points in the contour so the first point so the four point of the contour is first point, second second point, uh, th third point, third point, and the fourth point. So 
So I just minimize the window of the ID window um, uh, just to show you the whole code. So as we have already discussed that uh, the, that uh, the box command so cb2 dot cb dot box point marker uh, this line this line initiate the um, initiate this line track the whole whole code and this line track the whole image then it put the text um, with like like a two uh, with the percentage uh, dot two fft it, it uh, put the real real time distance in feet and finally uh, with this um, uh, just a button is pressing this code just terminate itself so that's all for today um, I, this is uh, is not as straightforward to discuss the whole thing at one place because imagine um, there is a functional code and uh, the image is one side i need multiple cameras and as well as my research paper uh, i should uh, I, I i got to visualize you but regardless uh, if you have genuine interest in robotics you can study my paper you can see my videos and you can study the codes uh, that will that will help you to get started uh, if you find my video useful i would really recommend you to subscribe also share with your colleagues and your classmates uh, if you need any help i'm more than happy to help you um, thank you for watching this video and i wish you all the best thank you